Okay, guys, today we have another video that was brought to you by Smoke One if you have one. This is part of the cigar bomb that he issued me, what, months ago already? We did one Oliva before, now let's do the other Oliva. And that, we're going to be doing this one. Oliva Cireve Milanio 2023. Hmm. Hmm, that's a chocolate nose with it. Ah. <sighs> Cedar, chocolate, barn. That's what I'm getting. Yep. Chocolate cedar barn. Chocolate cedar barn. Ooh. Ooh, that was like cinnamon. That cold draw, there was cinnamon in that. All right, so let me go. I have my notes on my phone broken down to three sections or oh, four sections. I have unlit, one third, two third, three third. Fuck, guys. Fuck. <sighs> okay, we're going to still review it. Construction is my fault. We're not going to do construction in this video. We're just going to do taste and experience. It's like... I'm at my fucking limit. I'm just at my fucking limit, guys. Uh, if it's not one thing, now nah, I ran out of gas on my lighter. I'm at my fucking wit's end. Well, I get no pepper. That was, there was zero burn on that retro. Chocolate, espresso, cedar. I'm predominantly getting chocolate, espresso, earth, and cedar. That's, yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. Let me just deconstruct the cigar for you. And we'll just continue the review. I'm just a little bit irritated now because I have been doing reviews and not once have a cigar wrapper failed on me. <sighs> and I was actually excited for the cigar. I read about it. I actually was like surprised and thought it was a cool concept. And the idea and how it was all put together was cool. So let me just give you guys the info on the cigar as in the Vitola, all the kind of routes. And then I'll give you guys the background. So, info on cigar. So, if you focus on the bottom part, not look at where I was smoking at, that right there is a Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. Underneath that, <laughs> that is a Nicaraguan binder. And below that binder is the filler. And the filler is also Nicaraguan. But as you saw from the thumbnail in the beginning and kind of sort of how you look at it now. And you see the Vitola. This Vitola is called a Figo Rado. F-I-G-U-R-A-D-O. Figo Rado. With this Figo Rado, you have the dimensions, which the length of the cigar is five and a half. And the ring gauge of the cigar is a 52. Lastly, you have the MSRP of the cigar going for 20 bucks per cigar, which is kind of why I'm upset of this happening. It's not the price point on your typical everyday smokes so that goes between six to you know, $10. This is a $20 cigar. This is also a limited run, but not truly limited, but it is limited. They made 14,500 boxes of these cigars with each box possessing 10, meaning there's 145,000 of these Oliva V CDM Delano 2023. That's all the info on the cigar itself, but let's get into the background of the cigar as I'm still exploring the first third. All right, so let's get into this cigar itself and how it was created and why this Vitola. 
So for those who don't know, when it comes to cigars and Vitolas, sometimes when it comes to a certain Vitola, you have to actually pay money to have a certain Vitola. For example, for the Figurado, you actually have to pay 21,000 euros to make a cigar a Figurado. Oliva, being the smart geniuses they are, decided a way to kind of go around that barrier. So a couple years ago, Oliva V commissioned works from, I believe is Eli Blue. And that is a famous humor maker out in the French region of Europe. And with that special project, they're known for using the toppest of the best of the highly quality items and woods and all this kind of sorts for the humidors. So the humidor was going to be expensive anyways. Because of the Figurado, price point has to be $21,000 for you to actually make it. Oliva made the humidor $21,000. Because with that humidor, you also get 95 cigars from Oliva. And 20 of them were this cigar you see right here. 20 of those cigars were the Oliva V Milanio 2023. That was how they kind of wormed their way into basically releasing this without actually had to pay that $21,000 just for that Vitola. They paid it by paying Eli Blue for the commission. So in other words, they paid $21,000 for one thing and got two things out of it. Big brain, very big brain. So that's basically all the information there is on the cigar. I wanted to keep it brief. I know my videos are long, so I'm going to try my best from now on to kind of give you guys facts and information one, two, three, and get back into the review. Now let's fully focus on the remaining of the cigar. Right now I am approaching the second third and I'm still getting the same notes. Maybe a little bit of peanut here or there that comes out, but it's still the same flavor notes you see on this side. Nothing has changed yet. A little bit of peanuts here and there, which boom, I'm gonna add it there now. Question I have for you guys is, do you smoke Olivas? And what was your experience with Oliva? Wait, 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 wait. It's getting spicy. I'm, en I'm entering the second third. The second third is coming in and I'm getting black pepper. I feel it a little bit in the retro, but there's still the same flavors into it. You still get the chocolate. The espresso kind of went away. You still have that nice cedar. You still have earth into it. That's what I'm getting for the second third. Not much of a big difference for, for the first time. Instead of the coffee, you're getting a little bit more of the black pepper itself. Interesting. The part that kind of confuses me is that when I did a cold draw, I had like intense cinnamon. That was like what hit me first. That was like the first taste note I got. I haven't gotten that back on any of the urn. Now that the cigar is actually lit, I'm not getting cinnamon. So that's weird. Spice definitely went down. It was like a little burst of just like this black pepper. I felt. I felt a little bit of that spice hitting me. Yeah, it's very subtle in there. I'm also getting this leather. Now I'm getting leather. It's like a leather cedar finish. Like it goes in, you have that chocolate. When you retro, you get the black pepper and then in the tail end and the finish, you get cedar earth combination. It's almost like how we as humans, our lungs and how we exist, we breathe in oxygen and we release carbon monoxide. I'm getting four flavor notes and just two bodily functions breathing in and out. Essentially going back to the question I asked you guys before, I want to extend that question. What is your favorite Oliva? No, don't you fucking do that.
But guys, I'm at the last third of the cigar and I'm, I'm trying my best to hold it together. I'm not even too sure what happened. I haven't touched a cigar. It's just been relaxed and aging and away from everything. Maybe it was too dry. I don't know. I had no excuses. I'm not going to penalize the cigar on construction. This could have been user issue. So we're going to get rid of the construction 100% by the rating system. So let me start breaking down the cigar. I'm at the last third and a tiny bit of changes came as well. This one, the black pepper went away and now it turned into coffee bean. Before it was like espresso. Now this tastes like an actual coffee bean. So you have that chocolate, you have the coffee bean, you have a little bit, a very splash of the cinnamon, and you have that aspect of the earth. That's all that Astard is basically gives me at the moment. There was no issues with the actual embers. The cigar is still lit, no issues at all. I didn't have to touch it up or anything. The, I said, I'm holding it for dear life because as you can see right there, the wrapper is becoming, the wrapper right there is becoming undone. So I'm holding it with my hand. I am going to take the blame. I am going to take the blame a thousand ten percent. I think I messed up with cutting the cigar. So that is on me. So with that being said, I am not going to penalize the cigar with the rating with construction. That is the taste notes I'm getting on the last third. So now let me deconstruct the cigar for my rating, which will be from experience and taste note. With experience, Excluding the construction, I'm gonna get the cigar a solid seven. The experience was not that bad. It has the taste notes I like, which was the chocolate and espresso, and your typical generic stuff you have in cigars, which is the earth, the leather, and the cedar. All of that complements it very well with the chocolate, espresso, and the coffee bean. So I'm going to give the experience a solid seven. For taste notes, I'm gonna give it a five. And the reason why I'm getting a five is because I believe it's a little too bland. The taste notes seems like it's a little dull. Like I kind of get chocolate, but I feel like it's watered down. It's like, for example, I'm not sure there's anybody out there that actually gets Americanos when it comes to coffee. It's kind of like that. If you go visit your local coffee shops, I used to work at Starbucks. Whenever we do make Americanos, let it be a cup. You got a cup like this. Obviously this is for whiskey, whatever. Uh, where my middle finger is at is how much coffee is put into the Americano. Where my index finger is at, the rest of it is water. You just get your standard coffee, which will be Pike for Starbucks sense since I used to work there. The rest of it would be water. So you will still get the caffeine hit of the coffee, but the taste of the actual Americano is extremely watered down because to get coffee, you got to combine water and the powder anyways. Not only are you doing water and powder to get the actual coffee, you're putting additional hot water to that coffee. That's what this kind of reminds me of. This reminds me about Americano. If that's something you do prefer, then go for the cigar. But from my experience, I'm going to give the cigar taste a five. Would I get the cigar again? Mm, yeah. I wouldn't mind it. If I see it at a shop, eh, I might buy it because the taste profile is fine. But for the price point, $20, I feel like maybe the cigar could have gone for 12. I think $20 is a little too steep for this cigar. You do have the aspect of it being a figurado, which is a more rare Vitola. The whole process of the commission piece of Oliva, which makes it cool, which is why I give it a seven for the experience, because this was part of a project and the way how Oliva kind of swindled the way of getting a figurado without actually paying the $21,000 for the thing, but just by doing the human door by this amazing company, Eli Blue, I respect it. I may not enjoy the cigar taste notes a thousand and ten percent, but I can respect what the company's doing and how they're doing things. I'm gonna give Oliva their flowers for the thought of the project and that commission worked with Eli Blue. But flavor notes is something that is just kind of lacking on me. This kind of gives me the salt and pepper vibes. 
I'm Latino. I need adobo. I need sazon. I need Cajun spices. I need extra oomph to my cigars. And unfortunately, this just gives me watered down flavors. The chocolate level is like a four. The earth is like a two. The cinnamon is 0.5. The espresso and coffee note is like a three. There's nothing that overwhelms your palate or like, damn, this is tasty. You, you're just getting a mouthful of smoke that has very residuals of flavor notes. And if that's stuff that you like, give the cigar a try. But that is my rating of the cigar. Seven for experience, five on the taste notes, leaving the cigar around the six range. So it's barely passing the ash, but, but it's still a decent cigar. I would definitely not go over $22 for the cigar. If you can find it for MSRP, give it a try yourself. And so then that's my final opinion on the cigar. For you who are viewing, your opinions does matter. If you feel like my opinion is more invalidated because of the aspects of me ruining the cigar with the wrapper, with this and that, I could understand that. I respect that. If you do want me to do another review on the cigar, let me know. 2023 was last year. I highly doubt 145,000 cigars are now sold out and gone. I probably could still find a couple of these out there in the world around MSRP. So let me know. Would you guys want me to redo this review? If so, I'll probably make it into a short since it already has its own video with all the information. Let me know. But as it stands, the cigar is a six. It is an ash. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, guys. As always, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.